All right, so let's talk about the pack, the new packing cube shoulder bag. Uh, this is part of the Tom Ben Design Lab series. Um, I'm not really sure. I don't have a packing cube shoulder bag, an older one, to compare it with. Uh, so I'm just going to point out things that I notice are different. Uh, so first of all, they don't have these metal zips anymore. I think that this is pretty standard. Uh, I think this is the way it is on the uh, Shadow Guide as well. Uh, the new shadow guide and you can tell that the zipper tracks are just a little bit different so they're they are different so the 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 packing cube shoulder bag uh has a sort of a front pocket here uh that you can that contains uh, a couple of o-rings uh and it's just a nice place for an ipad a kindle uh or anything along those lines and then it has a main compartment again with more o-rings uh, one here, one here, and then uh, a, a decent amount of depth. So getting out the tape measure, it's about 11 and a half inches seam to seam. And let's just do the seam to seam thing again, about seven inches tall. Okay, um, so I wanted to talk about what I might use this for. I took this on my short family trip. I took this thing to with my uh, underwear and socks. And the main reason for doing so was very simple. It was there. <laughs> um, otherwise, uh, so this is really a, a, a multifunction piece that is really meant to allow you to um, pack things in it as a packing cube, you know, put that into your stuff, and then use it as a shoulder bag when you get to the destination. These things have a cult following. I mean, I, I, there's, there's several people on the Facebook group that I've seen that just have gobs and gobs of these things. So it's clearly like used by many people for a reason. It, you notice here as well that it has the uh, attachment strap. I do not have a strap for this, although I suppose that I could borrow one from my uh, Pika pouch, which I will um, get to that in a second. There's a reason I have it next to me. So why would I use this? Uh, me, Spencer, why would I use this? Typically, when I carry the stuff that I have, I usually just carry it in my pocket. So here are the things that I carry with me at all times, pretty much, unless I'm traveling. Uh, sometimes that, not typically though. Uh, sunglasses, always uh, on a sunny day, and of course a wallet, uh, which is a NYX minimalist wallet. I've had this for a couple of years. I freaking love this thing. Uh, so. Would all of this stuff fit in here? Yes. Um, would I need to use it for that? Probably not, and I will show you why in just a second. But I'm going to talk to you first about why I would use a shoulder bag to begin with if I have pockets. So every guy has a pair of shorts like this. Uh, these I have had for two decades. They still fit me, and they are awesome. They look still brand new. They just don't make clothes like they used to. But you'll notice that it does not have any pocket. So when I wear this to some place like uh, a trampoline park with my kids, uh, I will usually carry with me uh, either the Pika pouch, because everything kind of mostly fits in the Pika pouch, and I am just putting this in haphazardously. This is not planned. Um, usually I put my keys in the same pocket as uh, my phone, and then this back pocket might have, you know, the knife. I usually probably wouldn't take a knife with me there. Uh, nor would I take a flashlight, actually. So I'll put those to the side. I might fit these in here. And then I'd probably just lock my car and leave my sunglasses in there. So take this thing with me. Super handy, super awesome to have. But I found that it, it is a little bit of a tight fit, especially if I want to take, like, literally anything else with me. Um, so if I take all this stuff out, I recently purchased a Sidekick. And this thing is uh, super awesome. I didn't really have a need uh, to buy this, but I've been intrigued by the sidekick. Again, these things kind of have a cult following as well. And of course, I love Black Halcyon, so I had to do that. So uh, this is very similar to a packing cube shoulder bag, except that it has pockets on the inside. It is clearly like not meant to be a packing cube. It's also uh, not as wide. It's not as wide this way, and it's not as uh, deep, and it's not as uh, uh, wide on this side. Uh, so if I'm if I'm on a bike or something and I don't want to carry the Pika pouch, I'll usually take this instead. So I would just throw, and I'd literally just throw it all in here. I'd probably uh, throw organization to the winds and just put it all in there. So um, this, I have found that I use this too occasionally, but I really never use that or the Pika pouch that much. Uh, their use cases for me are limited, but they're handy to have around. So getting back to the Packing Cube shoulder bag. Uh, would I use this? 
Um, if I were in a situation where I'd want to carry a water bottle as well as all of my things and I was wearing um, my other shorts or I just needed something to pack or I needed to give something to uh, my fiance uh, to carry for me and if she didn't have a bag, which usually she carries a bag anyways, uh, then I would probably use this. Um, and I think that this is a very useful thing to have around if you have a need to put more things in it than I have. I simply, what I need to carry with me when I go out just doesn't fit. Oh, of course, a mask too, a Tombin V4 mask. Um, what I have to carry in here would just, it would just be kind of overkill for this thing. Um, so at the end of the day, um, a very useful thing to have around. Obviously, people love them for a reason. I think that they love them mainly as shoulder bags and less as packing cubes. It's just a really nice minimalist bag. Uh, it just happens that it could suit both uh, use cases just fine. Uh, I do like and prefer the mesh uh, because they open up all the way. I prefer the mesh packing cubes uh, personally, um, but I could see myself using this if I wanted to uh, sort of pack things tightly. But for the most part, uh, this is probably just going to uh, hang around and uh, just be a nice part of my collection.